Hi there, Perfect Caster here and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a great day. This video is a demo of the brand new Sonic Fire Distortion Plus from Goku Audio. Sonic Fire Distortion Plus is the big brother of the original Gokko Audio Sonic Fire Distortion pedal. Now both pedals share the same circuit and sound, however, the Sonic Fire Distortion Plus has an added adjustable clean boost, adjustable up till 20 dB of input kicking goodness. As you've heard in the demo song, it is a modern sounding gain pedal that can handle heavy rhythms as well as searing leads. And I will spend the next few minutes tweaking the knobs and checking out all the tones that this pedal has to offer. I'll be using my Soli Guitars Elita plugged into a Super Reverb model recorded straight into Logic. And here is the clean sound. Squeaky clean with just a little hint of reverb so that all the dirt that you'll be hearing will come from the pedal itself. Okay, here we go. All knobs at noon, engaging the distortion side. Okay, you are immediately met by tight toothy distortion. Just enough gain for it to be comfortable and 
tight bottom end to make all those riffs articulated and clear. Now one of the great things about this pedal is that when you set the volume at 12 o'clock, you get unity gain with your clean sound. So there's no guessing as to where to set the knob if you want a nice transition between your clean and distorted sounds. And if you want to kick the input of your tube amp, you can raise the volume a little bit and you'll get a little more compression. Now the tone knob of the Sonic Fire Distortion Plus and the Sonic Fire acts a little differently than the typical distortion tone knob because it is actually a high cut filter. So that means that when the tone is all the way up, that is the natural sound of the pedal. And as you turn the tone knob down, you're actually cutting the highs which makes it easier to find a warmer tone should you need it. Now what I'll do is I'll play an open string and sweep through the range of the tone knob. Another good analogy for this is that you can think of it as the difference in moving the mic placement when recording your guitar amp. So with the tone knob all the way up, it almost sounds like you have your mic pointed straight at the center of the speaker cone. And as you turn it down, you are moving the mic away from the center of the speaker cone and pointing it off axis. <laughs> check out the range of the gain knob starting with it all the way down. All the way down puts it right smack in classic rock territory. Turn it up a little bit. More gain. The pedal also responds well to volume knob tweaks, so you can go from here. there. Now at 11 o'clock, it is actually a lot of gain already, nice and saturated and open. But uh, we have a little bit more room to play with, so more gain. Mm -hmm. 
Now the gain knob interacts with the other controls as well. So as you turn it up, you get a little more low end. So I'm going to tweak the tone knob back to my preferred setting earlier. Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna turn the gain down. Nice and bright. And as I turn it up, it also adds a little more low end support. Okay, more gain. Now that's pretty good. I have a ton of gain, but then complex chords are still nice and clear and articulate. You can hear every note. Okay, let's turn it all the way up. Even with the gain full up, the Sonic Fire Distortion Plus does not let you get away with sloppy playing because of the nice articulate and open tone, even with a lot of gain. <laughs> See what I mean? Okay, let's take a look at the clean boost function. The clean boost is situated after the distortion circuit. So the boost does not affect the input gain of the distortion side of the pedal. So you could use the clean boost as a volume lift for your solos, or you could boost the input of any pedal or tube amp that comes after the Sonic Fire Distortion Plus. I'm gonna turn the boost knob down and that will be the unity gain with your clean sound. No change. And as soon as you start turning the boost knob up, you are engaging the clean boost. That is all 20 dB that is being put out by the Sonic Fire Distortion Plus Boost. So it has enough juice to kick any amp or pedal input into overdrive. Now I am going to turn the distortion side's gain down and I will click the boost in and out so you can see that it does not change the character of the distortion side. <laughs> Now the compression that you're hearing is the boost side punishing the input of my super reverb model. Now I'm gonna add a little more gain to the distortion side and we'll use the boost as a solo lift. Okay, engaging the distortion side, this is going to be the rhythm sound. <laughs> Solo 
time, boost on. That is the brand new Sonic Fire Distortion Plus from Gokko Audio. Go check out the GokkoAudio.com website to find the nearest dealer near you. Here in the US, you can buy the Sonic Fire Distortion Plus as well as all the Gokko Audio products on Amazon.com. And in the Philippines, Gokko Audio is available from SoundForge Manila on Facebook. All clickable affiliate links are in the description box below. Okay, there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comments section. If you dug this video, please give it a thumbs up like. Feel free to share it with your friends. And do subscribe if you haven't yet. Ring that notification bell. I'm gonna keep on playing because you know the drill. Practice makes perfecto. Cheers. Mm.